Hello, welcome to TL's Cooking Love. I decided to start this cooking channel because since most of us are at home and quarantined, I had been trying to think of some projects once I got through cleaning the house, organizing the closet, getting my home office set up, and uh, putting four boxes away for charity. I thought, what else can I do? It's been several days at home, and I thought, you know, I have been collecting recipes for decades from family, from friends, uh, from cooking shows, from cooking classes that I've taken. And I usually will take a recipe and do a little something to it that makes it my own. And um, I like to share that with you. And I think that staying at home during this time, we can find our love for cooking again. When I travel, I feel like that is living life at its fullest. And I take a lot of photography, a lot of videos, and um, I always put them together into a movie when I come back with music and I edit it all together and we have that as our keepsake. Well, we just got back from Argentina in the fall and Paul said, hey, I can put it on YouTube and create a YouTube channel for you. So I named it TL's Travel Love and I just posted our video from Argentina. So why not now do TL's Cooking Love? I'll be showing you various recipes that I have and my twist on them and you can uh, take from it what you will. If you don't have the same ingredients at home, you can always substitute because I know how difficult it is in the stores right now to get everything that you need and sometimes you just need to substitute with what you have. Uh, if you want to feel free to send me recipes that you'd like me to try out, I'd be willing to do that. Every time I travel and we're in a different country, I love to buy a cookbook from that country. Because I love to see how other people live life and what kind of foods they enjoy and what kind of art they are producing. So this is all kind of an extension of that. Today I will be making uh, stuffed shells with ricotta and fresh spinach. I'm starting with day one of this cooking channel, something very simple and basic, stuffed shells. I always like to use fresh spinach whenever I make this, but I realize that produce can be hard to come by right now, so if you only can get your hands on frozen spinach, that's fine too. I would take a 12 ounce bag, cook it, and drain it, squeeze it out, and get as much water out as possible. Um, I have a five and a half ounce bag of fresh spinach, so I'm going to be starting with that. Uh, but before I do, I cooked some pasta shells and they have been cooling and I got the jumbo shells so they'll be easy to stuff. And those are just made. I'm going to set them over here and start with chopping the spinach. And it's good to have a very sharp knife. Um, the more I started getting into knives, the more I realized how nice it is and how much easier it makes your life when you have a really good blade. <laughs> I already have a visitor here. Hold on a second. we go. This is my little sous chef who likes to stand under me whenever I cook and see what in the world I'm going to drop because she gets the, she gets whatever falls on the floor that's fair game. I'm going to go wash my hands. I'll be right back. I'm back. I'm chopping spinach and I'm just doing sort of a rough cut of the spinach. It doesn't really matter. Um, it doesn't have to be anything special. I just like it when chopped up so it's easier to mix in. 
with the cheeses. And this is my bowl of chopped spinach, varying sizes of cuts. And now I'm going to add in two cloves of garlic. If you don't know about this, this is really awesome for um, peeling garlic very quickly and easy. And you just roll it and out comes the garlic and the little um, skins come off very easily. I'm gonna do two, two cloves. That didn't come off very easily. Two cloves of minced garlic. Usually we'll use my bench scraper to get this into the bowl, but there's so little of it, I'm just gonna use the knife. Even though they tell you not to do that because it dulls the blade. But there we go, we've got the minced garlic in with the spinach. Okay, I'm going to fold in um, one and a half cups of part skim ricotta cheese into this mixture. three quarters to a quarter cup of, I like to use, um, it's a combination of Pecorino Romano and Parmesan cheese. If you just have Parmesan cheese, that's fine. You can do that. I just love the little taste of the, the sharpness of the Pecorino Romano. So I like to have a, the combination of both. And then a cup of shredded mozzarella. And I'm going to fold that into Finish and get all of this incorporated. And then we'll be ready to stuff our chips. It's a little more difficult to incorporate all of these ingredients with fresh spinach. You really have to work it in and use a little muscle. It takes a little more time than if you're using frozen spinach. Um, so I ended up using the entire 16 ounces of the ricotta cheese that I had and then I added in a teaspoon of finely ground sea salt. So this, I've been preheating the oven to 400 and I got out my pan that I'm gonna use for this and it's a, I think it's about a nine by 13. And I wanna to talk to you about sauce. Normally I would do it from scratch, but if you really don't want to, and in this case I don't, <laughs> I, I like Rayos and it, it tastes uh, to me, more like homemade. This is Rayo's marinara, and you can just use whatever your favorite sauce is. Normally, I would start with all fresh ingredients and simmer all day, but I really don't want to do that. So I'm using a jar, and I'm just putting a thin layer of the tomato sauce to coat the bottom of my dish so um, the shells don't stick. Then we will start stuffing, but you can see just a thin layer will do. Try and show you that, but it doesn't have to be too much. I have a lineup going here. So I've got my shells that have been cooled and my stuffing, and I'm using a tablespoon to stuff these shells. I like to stuff them generously. Doesn't matter if it oozes out. It's just gonna be delicious. So I like to stuff them very generously. And then I just start lining the pan one by one with each shell. And I've got ambrosia under my feet. Just hoping I 
drop some of the stuffing onto the floor. She just, that would be her dream for the day come true. So there we go, I'm just lining up each shelf. And I usually, I mean, there is a lot of stuffing in here. Um, and, you know, I, I usually sort of guess a little bit at my volume of ingredients. It doesn't really matter. Um, but I usually um, just have enough, just by the last shell, I've had enough stuffing. So if you, you might have to adjust it as you're going along and some may have a little more than other. Some shells may have more stuffing than other shells, it's okay. It'll all taste really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish stuffing these and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've stuffed each shell with um, a full tablespoon of mixture in each of the shells, and I still have some shells left over, so I can use those for something else later on. And now I'm just gonna pour the sauce over. And just kind of get a coating going with the sauce. And you can use as much sauce or as little sauce as you want. I am. Um, I don't usually use a full jar, but you could, no problem. And just kind of want to get the sauce sort of evenly over everything somewhat. Then I'm going to, I have a bag of, um, a, like 16 ounce bag of shredded mozzarella cheese. I used a cup of it in the mixture and I never measure this part. I just take a really heaping handful and I just kind of generously um, put, the, you know, put the cheese out over the shells. So it's evenly distributed and covered. Now I'm going to put some tin foil on top of this and put it into the oven for 30 minutes on 400 degrees and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, I took this out of the oven, nice and melty and cheesy, and but it does need to brown, so I am gonna put it into the oven on broil and check it in about five minutes. Okay, it's just out of the oven. It looks really delicious. serve this up and see how it tastes. I love that gooey mozzarella cheese. Look how delicious that was. Alright, let's see. Okay, here we are with our stuffed Pasta shells, and we'll find out how they are. Salute. Salute. Honestly, that's very delicious, very cheesy, great flavor. Yeah. Well cooked. Thank you. Enjoy.